Tụi em hên chứ tụi chị đâu hên This last year, I traveled all over the world. Well, like four countries, but that's still pretty good. And in each country, I set out to eat the most challenging foods I could find. Some were gushy, some still had a face, and some tried to get away. You go back on here. Oh God, I'm sorry. But with each challenge, I walked away victorious. So how do I do it? Well, today I'm gonna teach you how to eat anything. Hey, wake up. Westerners have an aversion to eating bugs, and the coconut beetle larvae epitomizes every reason why. It's wiggly, it's crawly, it's squishy, and worst of all, it's gushy. Do you eat the head? You don't eat the head, right? That's not true. I heard that you just don't eat the head. Oh, oof, it is just pulsing. Hey, do you eat the head? Yeah. Eat it all? Good. The first step to eating a new intimidating food is to understand why people are eating it. There must be a reason millions of people are eating that food that you think is gross. V, why do people eat this? Are these healthy? Yeah. They're healthy. Yeah, they're healthy. That's why people eat them, because they're healthy. I don't, that makes sense to me. Yeah, and another thing, it's really tasty. And it's really tasty. Now, one of the most important things to note about the coconut beetle larvae is that they actually are a pest. They take over the coconut trees. Uh, they lay their little eggs, which become larvae, and it's a big problem. And what we have to do is eat them up. That's how we can help. Why again? The next step is to convince yourself you like this food before you even try it. Look at it, smell it, appreciate it, and tell yourself this is the most delicious thing you have ever seen. Oh God, these are moving. They're moving, which is good. They're healthy. Do they bite? Oh, God. It's not a problem. For me, ain't no thing. Now, for your average uninitiated food adventure eater, huh, this might be an issue. For me, for me, no problem. I can feel this one's heartbeat. I love larvae. Larvae is one of my favorite things. Mmm, fish, it has a smoky fish sauce scent because that is what they are bathing in. I'm really excited. When you finally take your first bite, commit. Don't nibble it, don't hold your breath, don't rush it. Experience it, allow it to happen. <laughs> that, that, it's not that I'm gonna cry. No, stay alive. What you know about adventure eating? Hmm? What you know about checking out other cultures' stuff? Not as much as me right now. Oh, what is this? Mmm. I'm glad I don't have to bite the head off. It's just the right amount of crunch. You think I need to be dared to eat this? I dared myself to eat this. I don't need to wash it down. I need to wash it down with another one. Mm-hmm. Success. You've done it. You've eaten that one thing. Your friends are in awe. Whatever demographic of person you prefer to have sex with is now more attracted to you. You can grow a beard. If you're a lady, you can open any type of jar. You're an adult person who had a cultural experience without being a dick about it. I'm proud of you. And so that's why I wanted to talk to you guys today, because I am a success story. This never was about the food. It was never about the larvae. It's about, it's bigger than that. It's a metaphor. Um, about success. Conclusion. The weirdest part of it is like how it moves in your hand is a little unusual, but once you throw it in there, it's not even a, it's not an explosive gush, it's more of an ooze. It just oozes out, dies real quick, you eat the head, then it's like, what's going on? Oh, uh, black. It's fine, it's humane. Come to Boca Palua, your next time that you're in Vietnam, in Ho Chi Minh City, 
Some people call it Saigon. Eh, I don't know for sure what's right. I need to read it on Wikipedia. What's right, Saigon or Ho Chi Minh? Both. both are good. Everyone thinks both are really a good idea. Get your ass down here. I'm gonna put the website here. Boom. It's probably not gonna help. It's all not in your language. Unless you're Vietnamese, you, you can easily look for this stuff anyways. Go to the website, eat these things. Here's what it does. It's, it's mainly good for your Instagram. A lot of followers. I just my I got I went up 100 followers just now. Doesn't seem like a lot, and um, I paid for most of them, but still, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, we done? We're done. I'm gonna go home. We're good. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, guys. All right. Bye. I'm gonna go. Okay. Wow, guys, I hope you were as inspired by that as I was uh, making it. Very touching. Well, anyways, big announcement. I'm going to Cambodia next week. So if you have any recommendations for Cambodia or tour guides I should talk to or anything, I don't know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, what's up for Vietnam? I'll see you next week. Peace.